Hello everyone, welcome back to Knit Crow Addict channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful uptown crop top sweater. And thanks to my husband who come up with the name. It's really difficult to come up with the name. So yeah, anyway, I have free written pattern for size extra small go up to double XL. It's available on my blog. But if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on my Etsy and my Ravelry store. And I will put all the links in the description below. And for this tutorial, I will show you in size small. And I also wear size small in the picture there as well. I hope you enjoy! Here is the material that I use for this project. For this project, I use two kinds of yarn. This is going to be the main color, main yarn. And this one going to be the second color. So yeah, this is my main color. This is Joanne brand. This is buttercream opaca solid. This is size 6 super bulky yarn. And then in each ball is have 130 yards. This is 80% acrylic and 20% opaca. And this is going to be my color B. This is Lion Brand Go For Fur Thick and Quick. In each ball is have 24 yards and I don't use the whole ball. And this is size 7 Jumbo Yarn. This 100% polyester. Here is the color. And please check in the description for all the details. And in crochet hook, size 8 millimeters. Your needle, stitch marker, and scissors. Before we start, I just want to talk about this pattern a little bit. For this pattern, we're going to make in five separate pieces and then sew them together. So we're going to make the back panel and then two front panels exactly the same and then two sleeves exactly the same. Okay, and let's talk about the back panel first. So for the back panel, we're going to chain this way. The chain that we made going to be the width across back. Okay, not around, but across for the uh, sweater. And then after that, we're going to have double crochet back and forth. That's it. Really easy. And I will tell you exactly how many chain I start and then how many rows that I made. And then at the end, cut the yarn. That's it for the back panel. Very easy. And then for the front panels, like I said, we're going to make two exactly the same. So we're going to make the chain this way and then crochet, half double crochet until we have our desired length. And then at the end, we cut the yarn and leave a long tail for sewing the shoulder seam here. Okay, both make exactly the same. And then two sleeves exactly the same so for the sleeve we're gonna make the cuff first okay let me draw here okay we're gonna make the cuff this way we're gonna crochet this way okay the row that we made for the cuff gonna be the circumference of the uh, cuff okay we crochet this way for the cuff and then at the end, we're not going to cut the yarn. We're going to turn this way. Right now, the sleeve not there yet. Just the cuff, right? After we've done the cuff, we turn this way to make the sleeve. For the sleeve, we're going to use the same yarn that we made the cuff to continue crochet the sleeve this way. Right, okay. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Anyway, I try. Yeah, at the end, we're going to leave a long tail enough to sew the sleeve into the main panel here. And both sleeves make exactly the same. So, after we make the uh, five pieces here, we're going to lay the back panel like this and then lay the front panels like this. And then we're going to sew the front panel into the back panel at the shoulder seam here. Use the long tail that we left earlier, and we're gonna sew on the wrong side. And then after that, we're gonna bring the sleeve and lay them like this. 
right at the middle of the shoulder seam and then use the long tail that we left earlier for sew the sleeve into the main panel here okay and then after that we're gonna fold this sweater in half at the shoulder seam with the right side facing each other we still sew on the wrong side we're gonna cut a new strand of yarn enough to sew the side seam so we're gonna start sew the side seam here all the way up to the armpit and then continue so all the way to the end here of the sleeve with the cuff both sides so exactly the same that's it and then last thing we're gonna crochet around the collar i'm gonna use the fur yarn the color b to crochet around the collar i just crochet one row you can crochet more than that totally up to you okay talk about the measurement here and for this tutorial i'll show you inside small you can find free written pattern for size extra small go up to double xl it's available on my blog for free all right so yeah the measurement for the size small it is about 18.13 inches width a cloth and then the length it is about 15.33 inches long and if you want longer than this feel free to add more rows just have the crochet over and over for this design for this uh, sweater I decide to be a little short so yeah if you want longer feel free to add more rows that's it and for this tutorial gonna be the part one the part one I'm gonna show you how to make all the pieces and then the part two I'm gonna show you how to sew all the pieces together and then how to crochet around the color all right I think I got everything here and please check in description for all the details and let's get started good luck okay I'm gonna start with the back panel first so first you need to make a slip knot use any method you prefer for making a slip knot and after you have slip knot so for me for size small I'm gonna chain 35 chains this is just for size small just follow your side okay make the chain loosely so one two three four five six seven okay I'm gonna keep making the chain until I have 35 chains and I will be back okay now I have 35 chains and for row one it's gonna be the right side for an odd number row gonna be the right side for an even number row gonna be the wrong side so row one is the right side we're gonna make half the double crochet into the second chain from the hook so this is the first chain this is the second chain from the hook and I always like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain and you also can go into this normal chain here as well whatever you prefer but I don't want to tell you what I like to do so I yarn over my hook I skip the first chain insert the hook into the next chain here which is the second chain from the hook I turn a little bit so I can see the little bump on the back of that second chain and then insert my hook and then pull up a loop I have three loops on my hook I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook this is my first half double crochet on row one and then we're just gonna make half double crochet into each chain across so I yarn over my hook insert the hook into the next chain here again I gonna insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the next chain here pull up a loop and make half double crochet half double crochet into the next chain I insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the next chain pull up a loop and make half double crochet let me show you here so this is the normal chain that people like to insert the hook into but if you turn on the back a little bit 
you'll see the little bump on the back. That's what I like to insert my hook into. Next one here. Next one here. So the reason I insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain is give me very nice edge at the bottom here. That's what I like to do. So yeah, whatever you prefer. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next chain, pull up a loop and make half double crochet, half double crochet into the next chain, and then half double crochet into the next chain. And half double crochet into the next chain. Alright, I'm just gonna keep make half double crochet into each chain across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row one. Okay, I'm at the end of row one here and I have 34 half double crochet stitches across and for row two I'm gonna chain one and turn. And the chain one never count at a stitch and you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then we're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch across so after a chain one and turn I yarn over my hook I insert the hook into the first stitch here pull up a loop and make half double crochet and then half double crochet into the next stitch right here And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into next stitch. Half double crochet into the next. And half double crochet into the next. Very easy pattern. Alright, just keep making half double crochet into each stitch across and I will be back with I'm at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two here and I have the same 34 half double crochet stitches across because I'm not increased or decrease. Uh, make sure to count your stitches. I don't want you to increase or decrease by accident. So now row three to row 23 I can now repeat row two. Every size is, is different and also this uh, sweater I decide to be a little crop and if you want longer feel free to add more rows just repeat row 2 just half double crochet into each stitch across very easy all right I'm gonna show you one more row which is row 3 again like I said just repeat row 2 I'm gonna chain 1 and turn and make half double crochet into each stitch across. So after I chain one and turn, I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the first stitch here, pull up a loop and make half double crochet. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And half double crochet into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the next. Oops. And then half double crochet into the next. And half double crochet into the next. Just repeat row two. Here's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna keep making half double crochet into each stitch across. And I will meet you guys back in when I'm at the end of row three. I'm at the end of row 3 here. Here's what it looks like. And I have the same 34 half double crochet stitches across. And like I said, I'm going to make a total of 23 rows. So I'm going to keep repeating row 2 over and over until I have 23 rows total. And then I will be back. And yeah, if you want longer, feel free to add more rows. Alright, good luck. Take your time, count your stitch, and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 23. Okay, now I have 23 rows for my back panel. Here's what it looks like. And this is the end of row 23. And then next, you're gonna cut the yarn. Don't need to leave a long tail for the back panel. Just enough to weave in the end later. So after I cut my yarn, I'm gonna pull my yarn out like that. And I'm done with the back panel. Very easy. Kind of small, right? Like I said, I'm going to make a little crop. 
All right, and next we're gonna make the front panels. Okay, for the front panels, we're gonna make two exactly the same. I already made one here, just wanna show you. Here's what it looks like. Okay, it's the same pattern of the back panel, just half double crochet back and forth, but we make less chain when we start, that's it. And then at the end, for the front panel, we're gonna leave a long tail enough to sew the front panel here at the shoulder seam to the back panel. Here's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna make a slip knot. You can use any method you prefer for making a slip knot. And then make 14 chains. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Make fourteen chain loosely, and in row one, gonna be the right side. For an odd number row, gonna be the right side. For an even number row, gonna be the wrong side. So row one is the right side. We're gonna do the same as the back panel. We're gonna make half the crochet into the second chain from the hook here. So I yarn over my hook, I skip the first chain here, I insert the hook into the next chain, which is the second chain from the hook. Again, I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain. And then pull up a loop, and have three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. This is my first half double crochet on row one. And then we're just gonna make half double crochet into each chain across. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next chain, Again, I insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the next chain. And then pull up a loop and make half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain. I insert my hook into the little bump on the back again. And make half double crochet. Alright, just make half double crochet into each chain across. If you make the back panel already, I'm sure you know how to do the front panel. It's the same pattern. Okay, now I'm at the end of row one. I have a total of 13 half double crochet stitches across. Here's what it looks like. And in row two, I'm gonna chain one and turn. Or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And in the chain one, never count at a stitch. We're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch across. So after chain one and turn, I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the first stitch here, pull up a loop, and make half double crochet. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the next. Very easy. Alright, keep making half double crochet into each stitch across. Okay, I'm at the end of row two here, and I have the same 13 half double crochet stitches across because we're not increased or decreased. So for row three to row 23, I'm gonna repeat row two. And whatever the amount of row you have for the back panel, you're gonna have the same amount of row for the front panel. For me, the back panel, I have 23 rows. The front panel, I'm gonna have 23 rows as well. So. Just repeat row two, okay? So I'm gonna show you one more row, which is row three, repeat row two. I chain one and turn, and make half double crochet into each stitch across. So half double crochet into the first stitch, half double crochet into the next, and half double crochet into the next, and then half double crochet into the next. Half double crochet into the next. I crochet pretty fast this part because it's the same pattern of the back panel. So it's the same. I think you know how to do it. Alright, keep making half double crochet into each stitch across. 
All right, I'm at the end of row three. I have the same 13 half double crochet stitches across. And like I said, I gonna keep repeating row two until I have 23 rows. All right, and then I will be back when I'm at the end of row 23. Okay, for my front panel here, I have 23 rows. This is the end of row 23. And then next, you need to cut the yarn and leave a long tail. So for me, I leave about uh, 12 inches long, enough to sew the shoulder here, the front panel into the back panel. So here what I have. And after you cut the yarn, you're gonna pull the yarn out. And you're done. And you need two of this exactly the same. Leave a long tail exactly the same. So I have two of this here, two front panels. I leave a long tail exactly the same. Okay, after you have two uh, front panels, we're gonna make the sleeve. Okay, next we're gonna make the sleeve. We're gonna make two exactly the same. I already made one here. Just wanna show you. For the sleeve, we're gonna start with the cuff first. For the cuff, we're gonna crochet this way, okay? Now the sleeve, not here yet, just the cuff. So we're gonna chain this way, and then I use fun loop slip stitch for the cuff. I like this method a lot because it's really stretchy here, as you can see. So yeah, I'm gonna crochet back and forth until I have my desired width. And then, after that, don't cut the yarn yet. You're gonna turn your cuff this way and you're gonna use the same yarn that you make the cuff to continue crochet the sleeve this way. The sleeve, we're gonna crochet this way back and forth, back and forth. And here's what this look like. At the end, you're gonna leave a long tail at the end for sew the sleeve into the main panel. Really nice. So after we sew the sleeve, it'll look like this. See the cuff here? And every size is different. Okay, I'm gonna make a slip knot. You can use any method you prefer to make a slip knot. Here's what I like to do. And then I'm gonna make nine chains loosely okay so one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then row one gonna be the right side we're gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the hook here. So this is the first chain. This is the second chain from the hook. I'm gonna insert my hook into that second chain. And I always like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that. You can go into the normal chain here as well, whatever you prefer. So yeah, this is the second chain. I turn the back a little bit. I will see the little bump here. That's what I'm going to insert my hook into. Insert my hook there, pull up a loop, and pull it through. This is my first uh, slip stitch on row 1. And then we're going to make slip stitch into each chain across. So next chain here, again, I turn. I see the little bump on the back of the next chain. That's what I'm going to insert my hook into. Right here, insert my hook there. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Now I have two slip stitch. And just repeat that, insert the hook into the next chain and make slip stitch. Next chain, I insert into the little bump again and make slip stitch. Here's what it looks like so far. Slip stitch into the next chain here. So the hook pull up a loop and pull it through. Oh, one thing I forget to tell you. The slip stitch can be very tight. Make sure to make it loosely. So when you insert the hook, 
right? And then you pull up a loop. Make sure you pull up a loop a little high, like that, a little loose, and then pull it through. And also when you pull it through, make sure this loop is loose. Pull it up a little bit before you insert the hook into the next chain. <laughs> Hope that makes it. Okay, so I insert the hook, I pull up a loop, and then I pull it through. See, I bring the loop up a little bit. Not too much. And then this is the last chain. Insert my hook into the last chain. Pull up a loop. Bring it up a little bit. Pull it through like that. Here's what it looks like on row one. And then this method can be difficult to see where is the end of each row. If you like, you can place this stitch marker as well at the end of the row. Because when we start the sleeve, we're gonna crochet into the end of each row that we make the cuff. If you think you can see, you don't need to put the stitch marker. But I recommend you to put this stitch marker. I just wanna show you. I'm just gonna place this stitch marker on row one here. Like that. And then for row two, you're gonna chain one and turn, or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And then the chain one never count at its stitch. We're gonna make a fun loop slip stitch into each stitch across. So, here is the normal stitch, right? It looks like the V, but we're just gonna insert the hook into the fun loop only. It's just gonna be this one. Okay, that's what we're gonna insert the hook into and make a slip stitch. So the next fun loop here, the next fun loop here, and this is the next fun loop. Okay, not both loop, just the fun loop like that. Okay, <laughs> enough talking. So yeah, after I chain one and turn, I'm gonna insert my hook into the first fun loop here. Like I just show you. Okay, and then pull up a loop and pull it through. This is my first slip stitch on row two. And I'm gonna place this stitch marker into that first stitch. So we can see. Just place this stitch marker on one side only because just one side that we're gonna create the sleeve, right? So I'm going to insert my hook into the next fun loop here and make a slip stitch. Make sure to pull the loop up a little bit so it's not too tight. And then insert the hook into the next fun loop and make a slip stitch. And repeat that across. Insert the hook into the next fun loop, pull up a loop and make a slip stitch, pull it up, and insert the hook into the next fun loop, pull up a loop, and make a slip stitch, pull it up a little bit, next fun loop, make a slip stitch, like that, really easy, just repeat that across. This is the last stitch. Oops. Okay. At the end of row two, I have the same eight slip stitches. Oh, I think I forget to tell you. At the end of row one, I have eight slip stitches. Okay. And from now on, we're just going to have eight slip stitches because we're not increase or decrease. Okay. Here's what it looks like on row two. And then for row 3 to row 27, I'm going to repeat row 2. This is just for size small. Okay, every size is, is different. You just follow your size. So, yeah, I'm going to show you one more row, which is row 3. From now on, you're just going to repeat row 2 over and over. But I'm going to show you one more row. So for row 3, repeat row 2, you chain 1 and turn. 
and then make front loop slip stitch into each stitch across. So you see this V, you're gonna go into the front loop only. Right here. Next front loop and make slip stitch. Next front loop, make slip stitch like that. Next front loop here. Next front loop. Next front loop. Next front loop. This is the last front loop. Here's what it look like. So this is the end of row three. Place this stitch marker if you like. Like that, we have three rows so far. And then you're just gonna repeat row two over and over. For me, for size small, I gonna make a total of 27 rows. At the end of row 27, here's what it's gonna look like this part. Okay, don't cut the yarn yet. All right. Maybe I show you one more row. Okay, <laughs> I show you one more row, row four. So I chain one and turn. Just so repeat row two. And make a fun loop, slip stitch to the first stitch here. And I'm just gonna place this stitch marker into the row four here. And then keep making fun loop, slip stitch. Okay, here's what it looks like at the end of row four. Very easy. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating row two until I have 27 rows and I will be back. Don't cut the yarn yet, okay? And make sure to make uh, the slip stitch loosely, not too tight. All right, I will be back when I'm at the end of row 27. Good luck. Okay, now I have 27 rows for my cuff here. And here's what it looks like. It's very stretchy. Okay, next, don't cut the yarn yet. Like I tell you, we're gonna turn the cuff this way and then start crochet the sleeve. We're gonna crochet into the end of each row that we make the cuff. That's why I recommend you to um, place this stitch marker into each row so you can see where you're gonna crochet into. But for me, see, I just uh, place these stitch markers into like four rows here at the beginning because I can tell where is the end of each row. So you see this line here is have two rows in there. This line here is have two rows in there. This line here is have two rows in there. Okay. So row one is gonna be the right side, okay? So row one for the sleeve, you're gonna chain one. And the chain one never count at a stitch. You're gonna make half double crochet into the end of each row. I call that stitch instead. So easy to understand. So yeah, half the buckle chain into each stitch across. So for my cuff, I have 27 rows. I should have 27 half double crochet across. So after I chain one, I'm gonna make half double crochet into the same stitch that I just chain one, right here. So yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch here. Pull up a loop and make half double crochet. This is my first half double crochet on row one. So next stitch gonna be this one here. A yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, which is the end of next row. 
Sometimes it's difficult to insert the hook into. You just need to take your time. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and make half double crochet. And then this is going to be the next stitch, which is the end of next row. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and make half double crochet. So far I have three half double crochet. So next stitch is going to be this one here, right here. Okay. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch here. Ooh, pretty tight. <laughs> okay. Pull up a loop and make half double crochet. So whatever you do, just make sure that you will have the same amount of the rows that you have for the cuff. Like I said, I have 27 rows for the cuff. I should have 27 half double crochet. Alright, show you a few more stitches. So next stitch here, make half double crochet. Next stitch right here. Make half double crochet. Next stitch right here. Next stitch right here. All right. Keep making half double crochet into each stitch across, and then I will be back when I'm at the end here. Take your time. I'm at the end of row one here and I have 27 half double crochet stitches across. So, here's what it looks like. Okay, so now row two, we're gonna chain one and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then the chain one never count at a stitch. So for the sleeve, let me talk a little bit here. So usually when we make a normal half double crochet, we insert the hook into this V shape, right? Right? And for this time, for the sleeve, we're going to make this beautiful uh, pattern here. We need to just insert the hook into very first fun loop here not in the V shape anymore. So for the half double crochet, you have three loops total. So you have the front loop here and the middle loop and then the back loop. Usually the normal crochet, uh, sorry, the normal half double crochet that we did for the back and front panel, we insert into the middle loop and then the back loop, like a V shape here. But for sleeve, we're not gonna insert into those loops at all. We're just gonna insert the hook into the front loop here. We're gonna leave the middle loop and the back loop like that. Okay, to create this beautiful line here. So after I chain one and turn, I'm gonna insert my hook into the first fun loop here and make half double crochet. So I yarn over my hook. This is the first stitch, right? I'm gonna insert into the very first fun loop only. Pull up a loop and make half double crochet. And then we're just gonna make half double crochet into each fun loop across. So I yarn over, insert the hook into the next front loop here. Not the V. See, the middle loop and the back loop, we not insert into those loops at all. So yeah, after I insert the hook, I pull up a loop and make half double crochet. And then half double crochet into the next front loop. Right here. And make half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next front loop here. Half double crochet into the next front loop. I 
after that, we just keep repeating that across. Let me show you here. See, here's what it looks like. So here is the middle loop and here is the back loop. Middle loop and the back loop. See, we're not insert into those loops at all. That's why it looks like this. I'm going to show you a couple more stitches. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next front loop here. Pull up a loop and make half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next front loop. Alright, I'm going to keep making half double crochet into each front loop across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 2. Alright, here's what it looks like at the end of row 2. And at the end of row 2, I have the same 27 half double crochet stitches across because we not increase or decrease. It's very important that you keep uh, checking your stitches, make sure that you not increase or decrease by accident. So, for row 3 to row 21, I'm gonna repeat row 2. And if you want a shorter sleeve, make less row. And if you want a longer sleeve, feel free to add more row. Just repeat row 2, fairly easy. I'm gonna show you one more row, which is row 3. Again, just repeat row 2. We're gonna chain one and turn. So, yep, just repeat row two. We're gonna make half the book crochet into each front loop across. So this line it can be both sides. So here is the right side and here is the wrong side. Also it have this line as well. It doesn't matter really which side you choose to be the right side or wrong side because both are the same. So I choose the row one to be the right side but yeah like I said doesn't matter so after I chain one and turn I gonna yarn over my hook insert the hook into the first front loop here okay just repeat row two first front loop pull up a loop and make half double crochet so maybe I should show you one more time here so next front loop gonna be this one as you can see, we're not going to insert into the middle loop and back loop at all. We're just going to insert into the very first one. Alright. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that already. But I just like to make sure. <laughs> so yeah, I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next front loop. Pull up a loop and make half double crochet. And then half double crochet into the next front loop here. And then half double crochet into the next front loop. And half double crochet into the next front loop. Half double crochet into the next front loop. Like that. Very beautiful. Here is the other side. So far so good. <laughs> Very nice. I love it. Alright, I'm going to keep make half double crochet into each front loop across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 3. I'm at the end of row 3 here and I have the same 27 half double crochet stitches across. Make sure to count your stitches. I don't want you to increase or decrease by accident. And the last stitch can be a little difficult to see. So yeah, be careful. Alright, here's what it looks like so far. Very nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna repeat row 2 until I have 21 rows. If you want shorter, like I said, make less row. Just repeat row 2. If you want longer, make more rows. Just repeat row 2. Very easy. For me, I think 21 rows is perfect length. But yeah, everyone like different, so yeah, whatever you prefer. So yeah, I'm going to keep repeating row 2 and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 21. Good luck, take your time and count your stitches. I will be back soon.
Okay, now I have 21 rows here. This is the end of row 21. And next, you need to cut the yarn. I cut the yarn and leave a tail about uh, 30 inches long, enough to sew the sleeve into the main panel. So here's my tail. Okay, you have a little extra, better than you don't have enough. So yeah, about 30, 40 inches long. Something like that. And then after I cut my yarn, I'm going to pull my yarn out. And we're done with the sleeve. And you need two of this exactly the same. Leave a long tail exactly the same. And here's what it looks like. Here's the cuff. Here's the sleeve part. Really nice. So yeah. Uh, you need two of this. And then next... After you have two sleeve, two front panel, and one back panel, we're gonna sew all the panels together, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the part two. All right, I'll see you in the part two.